Here, Marshall, we have the uh, we have the Lamar aerodynamic on this car, different than what we saw at Spa on the the two, the one and two car at Spa. We're on a high downforce setup, and the three the third car, the number three car, was on a uh, was on a low drag or a Lamar downforce setup. Here, all three cars obviously have that because top speed here at Lamar is very very important along with the efficiency. Primary differences you're going to see is the the shape of the front pylon around the headlights. Also, you'll notice on the high downforce variation that the, the ventilation for the wheel housing is on the top. You see here on the Le Mans uh, setup, it is actually on the inside. This is quite a noticeable difference that you see there. Along with that, you, you'll see you know, bigger turning, you know, turning vanes and barge boards on the side of the car. Along with uh, other advancements for this year, you'll see that the air jack probe is now on the side of the car rather than on the rear. Um, this is a little. This is something we've discovered in a study for the pit stops for the guys that it's slightly, slightly quicker if the air jack is not in the center rear but on the side, next to the wheel changers. Here you have a single element wing. Of the other races you've seen the car, you have the dual element wing on the back, and you see that the car has a bit noticeably longer uh, tail section on it that gives it uh, a very, very nice silhouette in the wind. Here, Marshall, continuing on looking at the car, we see that the, this car is like before is, uh, is fitted with the laser light concept. It's a new concept from, from Audi. It's very, very powerful light concept. Gives a very, very uh, you know, strong light beam and also a big mask around the light. So it has a very good light quality. Here you see the cool, cooling intake for the light electronics here. There's the intake, there's the exhaust, uh, the vent to ventilate the, the components. So that you keep them cool and uh, keep them keep them uh, working properly. Here, this under this panel is the meters for the uh, for the uh, energy consumption, and this is where the meters under here is where the uh, organizers can see how much energy the the car is actually using. Under here, you have three meters, which are measuring two meters measuring the fuel in, one measuring the fuel out. So we know the net consumption of the car from the diesel. Here you have the status light for the hybrid, which is an indicator of if everything is okay and normal with the hybrid system and or not. Also new now this year, we have a, a button here, which is the shutdown for the electrics, which also puts the car in neutral. If there would be some kind of an on-track situation where the car would have to be shut down, it puts it in neutral so that the marshals can move it if it's necessary. Talking from the rear of the car, you know, Marshall, you see the very, very deep cuts in the in the bodywork, that, that going around the wheel housings and around the suspension. This is to get the profile in the frontal area of the car as low as possible. You see as I'm standing next to it here, the profile of the car is extremely low. Lower the better. And this, the bodywork is, is conformed very, very tightly you know, around the suspension. The Audi engineers have done a fantastic job of making a, a rigid, you know, form-fitting body that is really tight around the suspension components. Back here you see, um, unlike the previous car, you'll see that the exhaust is actually, you know, part of the, the bodywork here. You see the, the, the silhouette here, the slit where the bodywork's coming out. Previously the exhaust was up high and went around the pylon for the wing. This is, again, a drag, uh, drag and efficiency uh, measure that we take to try to make the car as absolutely as slick in the air as possible.